Matt Holliner. 624 this morning, and I teased that hair forecast, but you might want to look away because it's ugly. Today already a bad hair day because it's going to be humid and breezy, but the humidity, it's going to get worse. Tomorrow, very humid and breezy, so I got to say, somehow it's got, how do I, what's, what's worse than a bad hair day? I, I guess you can just forget about it, and then Friday, very humid, and the winds are going to be even stronger. Gusts around 30 miles per hour. I had to put black on there and complete disaster. I mean, I, I didn't know what else to call it. You <laughs> have to put a hat on, just give up. You know, you know, the only good news for hair is that at least you can go to the barbershop and salon now so you can make it look a little bit better that way. What about temperatures for the next three days? 91 today, already a little warmer than yesterday. Our average high yesterday was 89. Normal for this time of year, but back to a little bit above normal today, but reasonable. 93 for Thursday and Friday, so the heat getting a little bit worse, but fortunately avoiding those record highs. Now, let's talk about rain chances. They're going to be small. Notice just a 10% chance. And again, I always want to stress because I feel like there's confusion about what do these rain chances mean. That's how much of the valley is going to see rain. So 10% of the valley is going to see rain today. 90% is going to stay dry. 20% of the valley is going to see rain tonight. 80% is going to stay dry. Same thing for tomorrow, a 20% chance. Dry for Thursday night. A 10% chance during the day Friday. The best chance of rain next three days looks like Friday night. Even then, it's not a guarantee you're going to see rain. I think more are going to stay dry than see rain, but we'll go with a 30% chance with probably the best chance after midnight and in Star County. But if you don't like these really small rain chances, they do get better for the weekend. In fact, I have to say that on Saturday, more will see rain than miss out. Showers and storms likely. That's what likely means. Cloudy, windy, and a little bit cooler. 89. I think the best chance rain will be during the day Saturday, but there's still a chance for scattered activity Saturday night and scattered activity through the day on Sunday. Sunday does look a little bit drier, a little bit than Saturday, maybe a little bit of sun, but certainly a mostly cloudy day, still breezy, and I think temperatures around 89 as well. There could be heavy rain on Saturday, and I can't rule out the small chance or maybe some damaging wind gusts as well. We'll keep you posted on that. That's something we're going to be watching very closely. And if you're wondering, it seems like, dang, we have a lot of at least small rain chances. That's not uncommon this time of year. Look at both McAllen and Brownsville. Our third wettest month is May. By far the wettest month is September, but May is a pretty wet month for us, so we should be seeing better rain chances, and that is great news because we absolutely need it with the ongoing drought. Michael? Yeah, we could always use the, the rain here, that's for sure. Right, and I do think the best chances by far are for the weekend, but small chances are there, so keep the umbrella handy for the next three days as well.